Day 35 of the Quarantine Reviews. Edmund does battle with the beast that brings the pain. So the plan was that I'd be covering this for a mini review, but turns out this has a bit of a different style running through it. There's not a true through line. As such, it's going to get the once more with feeling treatment. Uh, uh, in the same way that I Sturt's album will be. So, in view of that, yes, yes, I'll let you go now. As such, I'll be making a few announcements of what I've got planned. Following albums that I've got planned for the rest of this week are Poly 6 Now Is The Time, which there's a much clearer, definitive sound going on there. Uh, Sepia Dreamer The Sublime. Uh, yeah, Sepia Dreamer's The Sublime, which I don't know anything about it, but it looks cool. And lastly is going to be Gamma Ray's Heading For Tomorrow. Which, again, it's got much, I know for a fact that they've got much clearer, yeah, this is what the sound is like. Aside from that, I've got a special episode planned, which is going to be breaking down why Gary Jules' cover of Mad World does not work. And I recognise that me just announcing that is going to be happening is a controversial statement, but hey ho, I think it sucks and I've got definitive reasons why I think it sucks. So that should be interesting. Once I've gotten through those three albums, I'm going to be massively sorting down my workload because I realised that this was all taking a bit of a toll on me in terms of trying to get an episode done every day was just becoming exhausting. With that in mind, I'm going to be being a bit more particular in going into special episodes of top tens and things like that, and also being a bit more diligent in doing episodes for once more with feeling. That's pretty much everything I need to announce. I need to let the cat out of my room before she starts really complaining. So that's it for this mini mini episode slash announcements stay safe stay healthy and look after your pets <laughs>